Hey folks, it's Shane from Form TV. Today we're going to start the process of getting the car ready to properly install the motor and battery box um, in this electric Porsche 911. Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us. So for those of you new to this channel, this is my project to put a Nissan Leaf motor into a Porsche 911. Now, the Nissan Leaf motor and the battery are all going to go in this space here, but this is currently empty because I've taken all the components out of the car, as you've seen in a previous video, to um, basically to make things, make all the necessary permanent structures, so that's proper mounting, um, that's the battery box to house the battery and that sort of thing. So now that we've got this space wide open, the first thing I want to do is actually give it a proper clean. Um, and get rid of all the extra components that are running through it that I don't already need. So things like our brake pipes, or not our brake pipes, fuel lines, um, power steering lines and that, things that I've kind of either no longer using or have circumvented, um, but which are getting in the way of me being able to take proper measurements and actually design the, the mounts and that properly. So I'm going to clear everything out. I'm going to get in here with the pressure washer, degreaser, um, deal with any rust that I find, and yeah, just hopefully get the car in a, in a place where we can actually move forward with reinstalling all these components. So yeah, let's get to it. So now that we've got this area all nice and clean, uh, and before we actually put the, the bits back for the um, suspension, what we're going to do is just hit any bits that I can see where the paint's come off and there's a little bit of surface rust. We're going to hit it with the wire wheel, um, get all the surface rust off, fire in some uh, rust converter and protector, uh, get that to dry off, and then we'll put in some proper kind of undercoat and things, or underbody protector uh, to cover it up again and make it not quite as good as new but uh, stop it from getting any worse um, and you know if we do find anything where the rust has actually penetrated through we'll find a way to deal with that.
All right, I've got the worst of the metal cut out. Um, it's not looking amazing, but actually it could have been much, much worse. Um, I think basically what happened was the, the plastic panel or the rubber, plastic, whatever. He's in a hurry. Um, the plastic panel that was here to kind of just protect from, I guess, stone ships, mud or whatever. Um, whatever way one of the previous owners used to drive this thing, ended up collecting a ton of sand in here. And I reckon that just kind of gradually wore away at this bit of the panel here and started then letting water in um, through there. Cause it looks like basically there was water and mud pooled just around here. And that's what's caused this bit of the panel to, you know, to rust away. But once you get further into the sill, um, it's solid metal again which is great. So I've cut out a decent chunk so that whenever I weld back in, I'm welding into, into solid metal rather than um, into this stuff. But yeah, I mean, it's always gonna happen in a car this age um, that's had a tough life. So yeah, we'll, we'll deal. Um, I'm gonna keep on kind of scraping away at this, get as much of the crud out of the way and then um, spray it with the the rust converter to stop it getting any worse and then once we have it inside we'll um, do the welding on it. So I took the wheel arch liner off uh, just so I could give this area a really good clean and this is what I found. So when I was undoing the wheel arch liner I could hear rustling behind it and I thought there might be some leaves caught there or something but it's actually this frame that is just completely, completely rusted. Um, you know, it's not essential, I guess, from a structural perspective. It's the support for the radiator, but it is also the support for the bumper and the wheel arch liner. Um, so I'm going to buy a replacement one of these. But what? where was this car being stored that this happens? That was metal once.
all right that should be pretty much all the rust exposed in this kind of section it's not too bad just surface rust nothing's rusted through nothing's really thinned the metal at all um, so we're in a good place so a we want to make sure that it doesn't continue rusting and cause a problem in the future and then b we want it to look good um, obviously that's a secondary concern but it is it is important when you put effort into a car like this so uh, we're going to hit this down with some degreaser and then spray in the um, rust converter and then we'll come back to it tomorrow or the day after with um, other treatments to to kind of build it up So we're making progress in clearing out the uh, engine bay. I'm uh, gonna go the next step further, uh, keep heading towards the front of the car, get out the temporary mount that I put in place um, for the front of the gearbox and um, yeah, keep on getting all these different pipes and everything out of the way. Let's get to it. That's out of the way, we can focus on these things. So I mean what you've got here is a combination of kind of fuel lines, vacuum lines, um, power steering lines, none of which I actually need. And they all seem to go down the left hand side of the car so we'll uh, head over that way and check it out. The things like the brake lines we want to keep in place but most of the rest of these um, we should be able to unclip and if necessary undo them in sections um, like places like here and get them out of the way. Let's get to it.
whole bunch of pipes and hoses you just don't need with an EV. So that was a bit of a tale of two halves. Um, so great that we got everything cleaned up and it's looking really good. Um, you know, I can, I can now see a few little spots where I need to, you know, just um, you know, paint, repaint or whatever, put, put a bit of new protective layer on in the engine bay and, and that'll be ready to put things in. Um, slightly different story out here at the, the side of the car. Um, I kind of knew there was going to be rust in places, but I don't think I'd appreciate some the extent of some of it. Um, it's not, yeah, it's not the end of the world. It's just a task that I didn't hadn't really factored in time-wise. So I'm going to continue on a lot of the EV componentry for the next little while, so we can then get the car back into the garage and you know properly weld these things up. Um, yeah, and we'll we'll see how it goes. You know, it, if I can get the the sheet metal good enough, then I'll just replace the the flaps that were here uh, with some newer ones off eBay. Um, if that doesn't work and it just ends up looking shocking, then I'll probably just buy some side skirts and um, bolt them on, and that'll cover up a multitude of sins. We'll see how we get on. Um, yeah, if nothing else, it'll be uh, make help me get to know the car even better. So yeah, um, thanks for joining us on this little journey. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you like this sort of thing and you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. If, um, as always, likes and comments are very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, till next time, thanks for joining us and we'll see you soon.